Hey dear, welcome to you Shopify SEO optimization and Shopify store rank class 2. Today we are going to start doing the basic SEO of Shopify online stores. In the previous tutorials, as I have mentioned that we are going to do everything in live project or in a live website and here is the website that we are going to use in this course. So this is one of my client website and I am going to do SEO for this website. There is no SEO work is done yet. So we have to start SEO with this website. To start the SEO, first we are going to start with basic SEO or SEO basics. What is the first step to SEO basic? The first step is to set up Google Search Console and Bing Webmaster tools. So now you have a question what is the Google Search Console? So I'm going to search in Google. Here you can see that Google Search Console is a web service by Google which allow webmasters to check indexing status, search query, crowding error and optimize visibility of their website. Basically Google Search Console is generally used for indexing your website, submit your website audit the query check error or everything is relevant to rank your website in google how its performance on google so i hope you understand in the same way being webmaster also do the same work for your website but google search console is google product and bing is yahoo product this is the difference so i hope you understand what is Google Search Console and Bing Webmaster Tools. So now we are going to set up Bing Webmaster Tools and Google Search Console. So to do this, first I'm going to my Google Search Console account. So search in Google again, Google Search Console. And here is the Google Search Console result. Going to click on the Google Search Console start now and if you already logged in your email then you automatically can log in your google search console account so you can see that i have logged in my google search console account now i have to set up google search console account for this website so how we can do this first i'm going to copy this website url then click on the drop down menu click on the add property then add the domain name here okay click on the continue now there have easy option that we can use i'm going to use the html tag method so click on it copy this meta name click here then go back my Shopify admin panel click on the online store click on the three dot icon edit code open theme liquid file add this line at the top or after head click on the save asset save click on the verify wow ownership verified now click on the go to property okay we have verified our domain ownership now we have to set up sitemap so i'm going to click on the sitemap then i have to add the sitemap here so how we get or find the sitemap so here is the easy guideline in shopify website looks here sitemap files are generated automatically you can find them at the root directory of your shopify store domains 
hey there welcome to you in my youtube channel and i am faisal ahmed so if you're looking any shopify expert or digital marketer or website designer to make your website using wordpress shopify do the wix or any other space builder then you can contact with me also i'm working as a seo expert so you can consider me your next project i am available to study your project so if you need fast delivery with high quality support or service then you can consider have a nice day bye bye such as johnsaprils.com sitemap xml so our sitemap will be just copy this line our domain name looks here this will be our sitemap so i'm going to show you in real life looks here this is our website sitemap link so i'm going to add the sitemap link here okay then click on the submit wow we have successfully submitted our sitemap now google will start indexing our site and after a few time we can see the all details about our website performance or everything in here now we have to set up bing webmaster tool so to do this go to the Bing webmaster tools here is the Bing webmaster tools website link click on the click on the signing google signing with google i'm going to use the same email for being webmaster tool setup So here is my Bing Webmaster Tools admin panel or account section. Now I am going to add our website in Bing Webmaster Tools. So this is the same process. First I am going to copy the website link. Then click on this arrow icon. Then click on the add a site. Or we can directly import from Google Search Console. That will be easy. So just click on the import continue then select the same email that you have already used in google search console click on the allow now from here i can import any site in bing webmaster tools so i wanted to import this one so uncheck all others click on the import wow congratulations site addition successful we have successfully imported one site from your google search console account here is the name of this website marina bird click on the done okay we have imported this site now we have to wait a little bit time to check the update data so you can see that your data and report are being processed and it may take up to 48 hours to reflect meanwhile to speed up the indexing process please submit your sitemap by using sitemap feature so here's the same things we have to do we have to add the sitemaps here so click on the sitemap and you can see that our sitemap automatically imported because we have imported everything from google search console and that's why we no need to import or add or submit the sitemap again here it's status under processing so i hope you understand and basically we have done our first step basic seo setup 
so we have done setup google search console and big webmaster tools also we have generate and submit a sitemap we have done this two tags or this two checklist in this class in the next class we'll learn how to set up google analytics create a robot.txt file install and configure seo plugin check search console for manual action make sure our website indexing so next tutorial will be more awesome more importance for your website for your shopify online store so i hope you understand everything very clearly i have shared everything from the real project so that you can draw the same things for your website you can apply everything following this lesson and uh, you can get the benefit from my course so thank you for your time to watch this video join this class joining this lesson and if you think this class or this lesson is very helpful for you then click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you need any seo service monthly basis or any shopify store customization or shopify website setup design development or anything relevant shopify then you can contact with me have a nice day bye bye we'll see you in the next lesson